some of the problems in practice set one are best solved with the use of a scientific calculator. I will demonstrate using a TI-30X 2S which is a direct algebraic logic calculator. Let's see how this works. We'll try some exponents first in problem number five. Evaluate each ex expression written in base exponent form and I'll make use of a key that looks like this as though you're going for a little superscript. It's located here on my calculator. For part A, I have 4 to the 4th power, and I enter 4 to the 4th. And this is what it looks like on my screen. When I press Enter or Equals, my answer appears, which is 256. To understand that exponent, this means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, and I would get an answer of 256. For part C, I have 5.6 cubed. Let's enter that 5.6 to the power of 3, press the equal sign, and my answer is 175.618. The directions say to round to three decimal places, so I'll keep those numbers. And in part F, I have 10 to the sixth power. I enter 10 to the power of 6, press equals, and my answer is a 1 with six zeros in it. I'll write that with some commas so it's a little easier to understand. And that number is 1 million. Let's look now at evaluating some roots in problem number 6. The square root of 49, I can find that using a square root button. It's a second function of the x squared button, it's written in blue just above your x squared button, and I access it with the second key. Second root is a square root of 49. Press enters, and my number is 7. Let's try the square root of a decimal number. I press second, my x squared button, but I'm tapping into the little blue symbol on top, the square root, and the square root of 3.5 equals 1.871 if I round my answer to three decimal places. One more, a cube root. This calculator does not have a cube root button, but I can use a variable root button how I enter that is to first put the index of the root, which is the 3, 3, and then say root. I pressed the second, second function of my exponent key and tap into a little variable root function, cube root of 64, and the answer is 4.